Hi, I'm Mark Murphy, President and CEO of the Green Bay Packers. I'm proud to be a member of Positive Coaching Alliance's National Advisory Board. Our country's most important resource is our young people. It's up to all of us to do everything we can to keep them safe. A number of recent events have highlighted that youth sports are a place where more child abuse prevention is needed. It's easy for parents to assume that kids are safe in the youth sports setting, but unfortunately, that is not always the case. I'm Jim Thompson, founder and CEO of Positive Coaching Alliance. For 15 years, we've been working to make youth sports the best possible experience for kids. I am Irene Vondersanda, founder and executive director of Kid Power. Since 1989, Kid Power's programs and curriculum have reached more than 2 million people of all ages and abilities worldwide, providing them with tools on personal safety and child protection. We want every child involved in youth sports to have a positive experience that helps them reach their potential as athletes and as people. That can't happen if children are being abused. Those who would abuse children may be drawn to youth sports in search of their next victims. So we must create safeguards. You cannot identify child predators by how they look. The key is to pay attention to behavior. Predators work hard to develop relationships of trust with kids, families, teams, and youth sports organizations. They often spend more than a year developing these relationships before they do anything that harms a child. Their weapons are secrecy and confusion. When parents know what to look for, they can recognize some common signs before any children are hurt. Some of these signs are coaches giving individual players special gifts, coaches spending extra time by phone, email, texting, or in person with individual players outside of official practices and games, and coaches telling players not to share their conversations with their parents. If you see these sorts of behaviors, address them directly and immediately. First of all, tell your children that favors, gifts, and any kind of touching should never be a secret. Anything kids are discussing or doing with their coach or anything that bothers them on their team should also be something they would be comfortable sharing with you. A major key to child protection is no secrets. In addition to discussing this with your child, you need to address the coach directly. Most coaches have good intentions and they want to know if they're doing something that makes you or your child uncomfortable. Hey Scott, how's it, how's it going? Good, good to see you. I, you know, I, I just want to come out to practice and chat with you for a minute. I, you know, I was talking to Jamie and uh, he said that uh, you gave him a jacket or something after practice uh, the other day. Yeah, so last week the weather was really lousy and I saw that Jamie was cold out there in the field so I offered my jacket to keep him warm. Okay, yeah, you know, and I, and I appreciate that, but you know, there's something weird about it. He said to me, like, you, know, you said something like, let's keep it a secret, or was that? I don't know, that's what I understood. Oh, huh, that's funny. You know, I, wow. You know, when I gave Jamie the jacket, he thanked me and, and said, and I just responded by saying, you know, don't mention it. So I can see why that could be misinterpreted and, and cause confusion. Yeah. Oh, so it's don't mention it then. Okay. Yeah. Then I can see the confusion there. I'm really glad to have this get cleared up because, you know, it seemed to me like this was about keeping secrets. You know, we just don't do that uh, in, our, in our family. We really love having Jamie in the program. We feel like you know, he's enjoying the season, so yeah. thanks for helping me clear that up. Al, I'm, I'm glad Jamie's having fun, we're glad he's on the team, and, and thanks for approaching me about this topic. Oh well, you know, always, you know. Yeah. All right. When you, as a parent, speak up, it sends a signal that you are there to protect your child. In this role play, you saw the parent approach the coach in private and in a calm and respectful way. He started by acknowledging what the coach was doing well, and then he stated his concern clearly. Finally, even when it seemed that there had been a misunderstanding, he reiterated his family's policy of no secrets. Another way to protect children in sports is to give them the language to use if someone is making them feel uncomfortable. Let them know that they might need to tell an adult or another child, please stop, this makes me feel uncomfortable. Encourage kids to tell you anytime someone's behavior makes them feel unsafe 
or breaks your safety rules. Even if you think the child is being silly or is wrong, the first thing you should say when a child talks to you about a problem is, thank you for telling me. Kids need to trust that their parents will listen and will not get upset with them for questioning a coach's behavior. If you feel concerned about what a child has told you, do your best to stay calm and ask open questions like, tell me more about this, so that you can get a better sense of exactly what happened. If you approach the coach and do not get a response that alleviates your concerns, then you need to push through any hesitation and take the concern to organizational leadership or perhaps even the police. What we're saying here is much easier said than done, but we have to put our kids' best interests ahead of our own feelings of discomfort. We know that predators look for youth who do not have strong advocates looking out for them. So your speaking up when you have concerns can help protect your child. Finally, we'd like to speak directly to the coaches watching. Although you may feel it is unfair that coaches who have only good intentions have to change their behavior, I encourage you to see this as an opportunity to be part of a national effort by coaches to protect our youth. We encourage you to start off the season by telling your players' parents that you would like them to approach you immediately if they are ever concerned about anything during the season. Giving their kids a positive experience is your top priority and you want to know if there are ever any concerns. We encourage organization leaders to adopt a policy prohibiting coaches from having private one-to-one -one time with an athlete. Even if your organization has not adopted such a policy, you may still want to tell the players and their parents that you will not give individual players a ride home except in an emergency. Besides protecting your players, this also protects you. You can have a tremendous impact if you tell kids clearly that you care about their safety. At least once a year, we recommend that you make this statement to every child in your life. You are very, very important to me. If you have or know about a safety problem, I want to know. Please tell me, even if I seem too busy, even if someone we care about might get upset, even if you did something wrong or made a mistake, and even if it is uncomfortable to talk about, I will do everything in my power to help you. We wish we lived in a world where this video is not necessary, but we know that child abuse in youth sports is a reality. Please join us doing everything we can to protect our kids. That may be as simple as listening to your gut feelings, if anything seems wrong to you, have the courage to ask questions and to be persistent in getting more information until you are satisfied with the answers. Even if people are initially upset by your inquiries, coaches and other parents will understand you have your kids' best interests at heart.